Now, my next guest has spent his entire life knowing that one day he would need a new heart after being born with congenital heart disease. Well, that day finally came for 13-year-old Jack last spring, and his journey was followed as part of a documentary. And Jack and his mum, Sarah, and little sister, Eva, join us now. And that is a little clip from the documentary, My Life, My New Heart. It's on tonight, 5.30 on CBBC. Um, now, Jack, it's a documentary and it's such an honest account of what your life was like leading up to the day that you got your new heart. Yeah. But you spent a lot of time in hospital and sadly that wasn't a new thing for any of you, in fact. Tell no. us about the condition that you were born with. Well, I was born with double inlet left ventricle and I've had it all my life since the day I was born. And um, along with that, they found out I had a rare lung condition called plastic bronchitis, which meant that my heart was failing the Fontan surgery that they'd done when I was a baby. So I got um, put on the transplant list emergently. emergency. And this is when, in the documentary, Sarah, we see you going into this high dependency unit hospital, yeah. really not knowing how long you were going to be in there. And it was, no. it's, you know, it's all day, <clears throat> every day, life entirely changed for all of you. Eva, you had to, to move schools yeah. and everything, didn't you, just to be near the hospital? That was a particularly tough time for all of you, and it comes yeah, across it so well in the, in the documentary. Yeah, it was very difficult, but I must say, the staff at the Freeman were amazing with us. They treated us like family and really took care of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they made our stay there in the hospital a little easier. Yeah, no, I understand that. But it was the little things that you missed, Jack, the fact that you couldn't see your dog and go to see your friends. Like, you had to stay within the confines of that hospital. And that, that's not easy for a young boy. Yeah. Very difficult. Yeah. Well, it was just, like, it was hard, because, as you said, just then I couldn't see anyone. I had no-one to talk to at my own age. And, like, there was just illness all around me, really. Mm -hmm. Every day waking up, I'd to have all meds and then I've always had meds my whole life but like having even more and then waking up with like all having to get needles and that it's just like I was watching all the other children mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Like Jack really, really like hurt seeing the little ones. Mm -hmm. Even though he'd been a little baby himself then he'd been through it all. It, it hurt to see the little kids struggling of course, for Jack. Of course. So I really mentally challenged him. Uh, what was it like to have the cameras following you at, at fairly kind of dark <laughs> moments for all of you? Because we, we saw how almost depressed that you got at one point, Jack. Uh, yeah, we'll explain did. why in a second. But to have them there <laughs> with you. Are you glad you did it now? Because looking back on that period, it's such a massive part of your it life. It was very difficult at times. Some days you just wanted to shut down and say, I don't want to do this. But I kept in mind it was for awareness. Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing this. We're doing this to get the message out there to people how vital and important organ donation is and how the CHD children live and struggle on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. So we've done it for the best reason. Yeah, and, and it was a struggle, and we see this in the, this, this film, Jack, because there were two hearts that became available, which meant you have to go into prep mode, where you, you, it's nil by mouth, yeah. you have to prep your body for the big operation. But both of those hearts then turn out to not function properly, and it was just utter dismay for all of you at that stage. Yeah. Basically, we were really, really thinking, like, we were living in hope and just wondering if it was ever going to happen, if we'd ever get to go home again. And obviously when you get the false calls, you're thinking about a family who is suffering tragedy and you, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It's really, really difficult. Yeah. Um, it was very much the third time lucky for you, yeah. Jack. The, the, the third heart became available. You were taken into surgery, and like we say, we, we, we watched the actual operation, in yeah. fact, in this documentary. Um, you, you missed your 13th birthday because you were in an induced coma off the back of it. Yeah. But the other end of, of this, this really strenuous ordeal, life has changed so much for all of you. Yeah. How, how are you feeling now? Well, it's just so much better, really. I can do so much more than what I used to be able to do. Like, I can go and run with my friends, I can play football with them, I can do plenty more than what I was able to. Like, I've got much more of a free life. Mm -hmm. You can ride a bike. <laughs> yeah. Walk up the stairs. Yeah, the simple things that we, we sort of all take for granted. Because we, we do see you really struggling at one point, just walking yeah. up the corridor. He was going to school with a collapsed lung we didn't know. And nobody knew because it was pausing us, like the plastic bronchitis was pausing us other illnesses, like viral illnesses. And one day I took him to our local hospital and his lung was collapsed. God. And he'd been living like that. And I was literally sat... Like, I never used to sleep at night, did I, So I used to be at the end of his bed, sat listening to him breathe, mm -hmm. from, like, literally in tears and trying to hide it from Jack and Eva. 
It's an all-consuming condition for all of you, <laughs> isn't it? And Sarah, it's... life has changed for you. Yeah. Now. Suddenly, you, you don't feel like you have to do that. You know, your life has, has started to, yeah, you know... to get better. It's not as challenging anymore. Just to get out of bed on a morning isn't as challenging anymore because Jack's up, dressed and out the door for school himself. He yeah. can, he's brilliant with his medication. The doctors are very impressed. He knows them all. He's done amazing, haven't you? Yeah. It's just, I sometimes I just think, is, um, is this real? Am I really, really seeing my son this healthy? Mm -hmm. It's such Yeah, yeah such it is the ultimate gift it? of life. It is. It's really... Yeah, it's very special. And Eva, yeah. what's it like to have your big brother back? He can chase after you now and actually play yeah. football and all sorts of things with you. I'm very happy that he's back. Uh-huh, yeah, because you didn't like him when he was ill, did you? I heard you say that in the documentary. It's hard to watch your big brother when he was poorly, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, look, it's just so brilliantly done. I've got to say, I really enjoyed watching it, Jack. Yeah, You're just you. superb in it, and all of you are incredibly brave to let all of us watch that, yeah. that time of your life. I know you're a big football fan. Yeah. Huge Chelsea fan, I believe. No. no, I'm joking, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, they have very, very kindly, yeah. Liverpool, thank you very much for this, but they're going to give you and your entire family a whole day at the stadium, a whole day at the museum. You can go up and absolutely soak <laughs> in the Liverpool love. I'm going to hand this over to you. It's full of Liverpool stuff. Oh, you've you probably got that already. But anyway, you can take that with thank you. you. This is his favourite song. <laughs> I, know, I, I did guess that if I'm being yeah, honest. It is. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's your birthday yeah. tomorrow as well. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Big Seven, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, you see, you get to enjoy and kind of experience all of these things now in a very different yeah. way, don't you? It's so great to see you, Jack, Thank honestly. You. Great film. Mm -hmm. And like we say, My Life, My New Heart, tonight, 5.30pm on CBBC and BBC iPlayer. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.